See, that way I got the excursion rate. Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, we'll simply have to double up. You and Grandpa can have the upper. But Lily... No arguments. Do you want to spoil this miserable trip before it's begun? Now, Eddie, you run along and get ready for bed. Don't forget to brush your fangs. <laughs> with you if I go first. I just have to jump up there. I should have stopped off at the freight yards and bought a livestock permit before we boarded the train. Why do you wonder that? Because I never traveled with a jackass before. <laughs> Which one it is? The two men looked up in quivering horror. It's along here somewhere. Suddenly, from behind the curtain, appeared the ghost-like figure of the dear dead Lady Madeline, still wearing the shroud in which she had been buried. Oh, I think this is it. Must have suddenly realized he'd passed his station. Settle down. It was killed me getting undressed in here. Knock it off, Grandpa. And um, will you get your foot out of the pocket of my nighty? Boy. Last time I tried to sleep in a place this small, some guy shoveled dirt in my face. <laughs> Herman, Herman, what's the matter now? I need a drink of water. No water. I'm dying of thirst. I know who used up the water. I'd kill him. That's what I'd do. I'd kill him. 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 What's 
going on? I don't know, dear. I didn't realize that many people were nervous about riding on trains. <laughs> While we were getting dressed this morning, somebody folded up all the beds. <laughs> but why did they bring our breakfast in here instead of letting us go to the dining car? I don't know. They said something about all the passengers getting together last night and insisting that we have this car all to ourselves. I must say it was very considerate of them. I'm trying to read this fascinating historical data to my son. On the way to Buffalo Valley, our streamliner carries us through miles of barren desert, the heart of the Owagi Indian country. Although civilization continues to infringe on this territory, legend has it there still may be one or two lost Indian tribes living in the desert. Right. Isn't this interesting? <laughs> sure, Pop, if you say so. <laughs> Anthropologists tell us the sociological implications of various artifacts found in this region are far-reaching. What do you think of that, Eddie? <laughs> Train must be stopping for mail or something. Might as well get off and get a magazine while we're waiting. <clears throat> No new stand here, I guess it must be around and back. <laughs> stand here either. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit down and read my fascinating travel booklet. <laughs> the warm desert sun, coupled with the vast expanse of wasteland, made this area one of unending monotony for the early prospectors and settlers. Hmm. They were often lulled into a hypnotic trance which no sight or sound could penetrate. <laughs> 